Today I'm going to show you how I used to edit videos on my old MacBook. My primary machine used to be a 2015 MacBook Air and I figured out how to create 4K content with it so today I'm going to show you how I did that. I used to not think that it could be done, I just thought it was too laggy and there was no possible way that I would be able to um, edit or create content that was 4K so I would record in a lower quality and that would just be the video. I've read that YouTube favors 4K content over 1080p or just other um, qualities. I'm not sure if that is true, but um, I don't know. It's worth a shot. If you can do 4K content, I would definitely encourage you to be able to. Obviously, it's hard. 4K videos take up a lot of storage space. My old MacBook actually only had a 128 gigabyte hard drive, so it was difficult for me to be able to do these things. Um, but I bought an external drive. I kept bare minimum on the hard drive because of the space and I'd have it other places, but I would keep like the actual files that I was editing on the hard drive, but I would export to an external drive. So I have Final Cut open and I'm going to just completely start from scratch. I'm going to um, create a new library and then I'm going to use the project and I'm just going to leave the settings automatic. Okay, so I'm going to import the file, um, select it here, and then over here on the right side, um, you're going to want to check Create Proxy Media. Basically what that does is create another version of the file um, but something important that I do want to say is if it is an HDR clip, so like if you're using a newer iPhone, um, it's probably going to be HDR unless you change the settings. Um, some cameras do HDR, some don't. If it is HDR, which this is, you're going to want to use the, Pro, the ProRes proxy. Um, otherwise, it won't convert and you will get an error message. But if it's not HDR content, if it's just regular SDR, um, you can use the H.264. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the H.264. It's going to give you an error message. So if you don't know what kind of format that it is, it'll tell you. Um, media doesn't display correctly when transcoded, so it'll do it in ProRes. So it'll go ahead and tell you, um, and it'll take care of it. So once you drag the clip down into the timeline, what you are going to want to do is click on view up here because if you were to play this back you would realize that it's still choppy and you'd be like whoa what's going on this was this got me what you'll need to do to fix that is go down here and change it to proxy preferred or proxy only so if you have other clips in there that are maybe 1080p or something that your computer doesn't really struggle with you can do proxy preferred so then it will for the clips that it has proxy media otherwise you're going to get a missing file error and you don't want that so switch it to proxy only and then you would be able to just go through the video and edit it like you want to be able to when you are finished and you're ready to export the video you need to go to the view and change it back to optimized original so that way when you export it will do 4k content um, otherwise, I'm pretty sure it'll tell you, hey, um, it'll, it's going to do the proxy version. You'll get a message that pops up unless you said don't show this again or something. You'll be okay. It will remind you, but just make sure that that is back to optimize original so that you can get 4K exported. If you're starting out with YouTube or um, really this is mostly for YouTube because Final Cut does come with some preset type of things. I would not use this YouTube and Facebook one. I don't think it's the highest quality that it can be. Um, there are other videos. There's a really good one that I'm going to put um, a link to that showed me how to do this in Compressor. There's no reason to try to recreate that because that's how I learned to do it. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button so that YouTube will suggest me to others. And thanks for watching.